Hey guys, so today is Thursday, no, Wednesday, January 17th. This is going to be a little bit different video because um, I have just been busy working all day and um, didn't have a chance until just a little bit to get in the shower. And anyways, to make a long story short, we are going to look at this. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this, so I'll bring a, a couple memories, but <clears throat> this um, is not the one that I had, but this may or may not look familiar to you, but I had this right next to my bed um, on the in the house that we moved into after we sold our family home. Um, the memory that I have is that we went to Hobby Lobby, and I think we've actually... I might have actually recorded this before because I told you about how we went there and we picked out decorations for the house and wall hangings and for your guys' bedroom. And <clears throat> so I think I'd already shared that. This was something that I found at Hobby Lobby um, with Hadid. It, we were, we've actually gone to a couple because I'm looking for particular wall art that we had gotten when you... You guys and I were together and we went shopping and we had all of those shopping carts full of wall art. Well, this particular one I had placed right next to my bed so I would wake up every morning and see it as a reminder. And so I would go to bed every night and see it as a reminder. And so it was really special. I'm actually going to be putting it right next to my bed again in the same exact spot to the left of the bathroom um, on the wall next to the bed. So it means a lot to me. It does remind me of you guys. It reminds me of the storm that we were going through when <clears throat> we were um, going through a divorce. Sorry about that. I had to pause that for a second. Um, there was a piece of fuzz. I wanted to take it off right there. Um, but yeah, it reminds me of the storm that we were going through when we sold the family home and um, and we moved into a different home, two separate homes. And how um, I think it was, well, I know it was traumatic for all of us. And so prayer was a huge part of our transition. Um, I remember praying with you too. Um, at lunch break since I was homeschooling you <clears throat> and we would pray every day um, we had it set in our schedule we would come together and pray and um, and then we prayed every night and it was just it was a really neat time and you guys I used to set aside time for you guys to journal and um, so you guys had journals and I know in the beginning, Warren, you didn't like it, but I did find one of your journals, and I, you have such an amazing heart. Um, Clara, you didn't write as much back then, because I think <clears throat> you were kind of transitioning between Spanish to English, since you were taught everything in Spanish at the Spanish Immersion Program. It was a little bit different to transition to the English, and you guys the class itself hadn't transitioned. They hadn't incorporated very much of English. I think maybe 10% English the last year. So you were getting 90% of your day, including your friends, in Spanish. So I didn't see, or I haven't found as much writing. I have found a few journal entries. But with Warren, um, Warren, I found your journal entries and what you were... Um, journaling just really touched my heart and it it is such a um representation i guess of how much you understood the bible um the things that you were journaling about the bible and journaling about scripture and what it meant to you each of those scripture verses and how you applied it you kind of follow the pattern of you would read the scripture write the scripture and then um, you applied it. I think you wrote maybe what it meant to you and then how you applied it to your life. And it was really special to, um, to read. And so I will be excited for you to get that one day so you can see that. 
So 1 Thessalonians 5.17, of course, because we're staring at a wall art, <clears throat> I thought I would read it. But I'm going to start just a little bit higher. I'm going to start at verse 12. So it's Paul, and he's writing to the church of, I believe it was the, maybe um, Philippi. It was the Thessalonians, but I think it was, no, yeah, I think it was a church in Philippi. And so he says, Dear brothers and sisters, honor those who are your leaders in the Lord's work. They work hard among you and give you spiritual guidance. Show them great respect and wholehearted lung love because of their work and live peacefully with each other. Verse 14, brothers and sisters, we urge you to warn those who are lazy. Encourage those who are timid. Take tender care of those who are weak and be patient with everyone. In verse 15, no, verse 14, brothers and sisters. Oh, wow. I just read that. <laughs> I'm holding the phone with my right hand and trying to read with my left hand. Um, and of course, Bible scripture is tiny. Um, so verse 15, see that no one pays. This is a good one. See that no one pays back evil for evil, but always try to do good to each other and to all people. I'm going to read that again. See that no one pays evil for evil, but always try to do good to each other and to all people. Man, that's a tough one, right? That's a tough one to follow sometimes, especially when our first reaction is to pay an insult back to them or be mean back to them. <clears throat> and verse 16, always be joyful. Never stop praying. That's verse 17, the, the wall art that we're looking at. First Thessalonians 5, 17, never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Do not stifle the Holy Spirit. Do not scoff at prophecies, but test everything that is said. Hold on to what is good and stay away from every kind of evil. So I'm going to reread that. Verse 16, always be joyful, never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for who you who belong to Christ Jesus. That one's a tough one sometimes. I have to say it's really tough. Like how to be thankful in tough situations. Well, there is always, I mean, in the beginning, I dealt with a lot of bitterness when <clears throat> you guys were taken to Washington and, and I didn't know what was going on. I, I had a hard time being thankful in all circumstances, but the Lord has, he's worked something out in me. And I pray that he's doing that in you, that we can still see the good in what is different. So maybe even in something that doesn't seem right or seem fair, we can look really hard and we'll find something that is good in it. If it's what God is doing in our lives, because it's nothing outwardly, but he's doing something in our heart and in our thoughts and our mind, then that's good. And we can be thankful for that. I know that has been huge for me to be thankful and to praise and thank Jesus um, and just looking for the little, the little things. Um, it definitely has kept my heart stay soft and not go hard. Um, and then verse 19, do not stifle the Holy Spirit. That means don't suppress the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is that, that, well, the Holy Spirit is a person, by the way, it's not just a wind blowing, but it's a person who is with you. He's guiding you. I like to call the Holy Spirit our GPS. He's our GPS guiding us with where to go. So it says, do not stifle. So don't, don't shut the Holy Spirit away. Do not scoff. So don't make fun of prophecies, 
but test everything that is said. So if someone prophesies something, ask the Lord. Look at the Bible. Is it in alignment with scripture and what the Bible says? So test it. And if it's good, hold on to it. Hold on to anything that is good. But stay away from every kind of evil. That's pretty awesome. Um, that's what I'm going to read today. But it was really cool. I When I opened up my Bible app to look at 1 Thessalonians 5.17 and kind of the story um, to the chapter, um, my phone app and my Bible app automatically opened to 1 Thessalonians. It was in chapter 2, not chapter 5, but still it was pretty awesome. It went straight to 1 Thessalonians. Um, and I don't remember that being the last book of the Bible that I read in my Bible app. I usually always pray out of my Bible, um, my paper Bible. There's just something about holding the Bible. So I love you guys. It's been 11 minutes. I need to get this video uploaded so you guys can watch it for today. Um, so again, today is Wednesday, January 17th, 2024. And this right here, this pray without ceasing, this wall art, um, it is it is my motto, I would have to say. It's always praying in the shower, I'm getting ready when I'm driving down the road. And I pray in the spirit. I pray spiritually. Um, and you guys understand what that means. But I do. There are more times. There are times that I, I pray more without ceasing. Like it just comes on me and I just start praying. And there's other times that um, I have it structured. But God is good. He is so good. And he listens to our prayers. He answers them. And I can't wait to share the testimonies of like all the miracles that have happened in the last few days. So Father God, I just pray over one and Clara, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I lift up Wyatt to you, Lord, as he is my son and he is Warren and Clara's um, half sibling, Lord. So I pray over all three of them. They are my kids. They are also your kids and they belong to you. Father, I thank you that you are showing your mercy your empowerment of your grace, the presence of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, I thank you that you are showing us ways to exalt the Lord and to give thanks in every situation, even a failed grade or hopefully not a failed grade, you guys, but a failed circumstance or, or a missed assignment, um, that in everything that God, you are giving us the ability to thank you. Um, for everything around us and for us to stay focused on being thankful and not complaining. Lord, I thank you for the Holy Spirit that guides us and that guides Wyatt, Warren, and Clara. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing behind the scenes and we give you all glory, honor, and praise. Lord, thank you for shining your light upon the unjust, upon the, the, um, Shining the truth, the light upon the truth and the lies that nothing will be sustained. Nothing will stay hidden in the dark, that it will all be exposed. And we trust you in that timing and what it is. And we also trust you that you answer our prayers. You hear us. We thank you, Father God, in your name. Amen. I love you guys. I miss you. I wish I'm going to kind of give you a kiss right here. Wait, where's the screen? There we go. It's actually just my finger. <laughs> but um, I love you guys, and I'll be back on the video tomorrow. All right, I love you. Bye.